welcome to a day in Gracie's kitchen. Um, tonight I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I make my chicken since I have been getting asked that for days. So this is the chicken that I buy. Um, just uh, boneless, skinless breast uh, fillets. So um, with rib meat. Um, so yeah. So this is the chicken that I get. I buy it at Winco um, and it comes frozen. So whenever you're, you're ready to cook it, you just have to thaw it out. So, and that's exactly what I did. Um, I already got started on the process just because uh, I was trying to make another video and I didn't realize that my camera was going to be flipping over so many times. So, I, and I don't know how to edit that yet. So, yeah, okay, enough talking. So, what I did to thaw it out, um, I put them in a bag. That looks disgusting. But I put the chicken in there. I put like four pieces in there. And um, I put it um, just like in a big bowl of water while we were working out. So I did that. And then what I did was I just cut them up. Um, I just cut them up with these um, handy dandy kitchen scissors um, into small little pieces. So let me show you guys how it looks right now while it's in the pan. So this is what it looks like so far. So um, I haven't, the only thing that I have added in this pan is just water. So, um, I wish I can add a filter to this because this looks really bad. Bad lighting, bad lighting. Um, but yeah, um, I just um, have my chopped chicken in here, or my cut up with scissors chicken in here. Um, and I just put them in here with um, just some water. I don't measure out the water at all. I just kind of go with the flow with things. That's usually what I do. I don't portion anything. I just go with the flow. So, yes, I'm just waiting for it to cook a little bit more, and then I can add um, some of my seasoning. Let me show you guys exactly what I have here. Um, I either use um, roasted garlic herb. Um, don't really use that one too much. And then I have my Mrs. Dash. These ones are my most popular ones that I use um, just because it is salt-free. Um, I definitely recommend these ones. Um, I know a lot of people do recommend to use... Um, what is it called? Like Flavor God. But I just don't want to order anything online if it's food. You know, if it's clothing, that's totally fine. But if it's food or whatever, I mean, if it's sold in a store, in a store, of course, I'll try it out. But, um, yeah, I always use Mrs. Dash. So just because it's salt-free. And they have these bomb, bomb flavors. So this one I'm using is tomato, basil, garlic. And then I have the original blend. Um, and then I have the Southwest... Chipotle. That one's probably my favorite. That's mine and my husband's favorite. Um, I got these two ideas um, from Obese to Beast. So thanks, John, for those awesome ideas. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for my uh, chicken to get a little bit more cooked. Let me just let you guys know real quick, I'm not a professional. I'm not a chef. Um, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. So just hang in there. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, so today I'll be using this one right here, um, the Southwest Chipotle. So let me just put that on there real quick. And again, this just has water in it, so there's no sodium at all whatsoever. And the cool thing about Mrs. Dash 2 is you can add as much as you want just because there is no sodium in it, and it's just going to add a lot more flavor too. So... Do, 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 waiting for this thing to cook. This is what I do almost every single night. Oh, you guys want to know something funny while this thing's cooking? Um, I decided to be fancy schmancy, and I wore a bracelet and my wedding rings and my other ring. I never, ever, ever wear jewelry when I cook, but I was like, you know what? I'm making a video, and... You know, I got to look fancy for you guys because you guys are awesome. You guys are my best friends. We're all best friends. So, yeah, I got to look good for you guys. So I'm just going to wait for this stuff to cook just a little bit more. Um, if I see any big ones, then I'll just try to cut them in half. That way it cooks a little bit faster. But, yeah. I wish you guys can smell this. It smells bomb.com. So let me try to get a little bit closer. So that's what the chicken looks like so far. Look at all that sauce. Yummy. Even though it's not really a sauce, it's just water and dash seasoning. So, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so I decided to turn up my heat a little bit more so it cooks faster. Um, totally forgot to change it up. So, yeah, so this thing needs to hurry on up because I'm making a video, and I don't want this video to be super long. 
All right, so it's still cooking. Yummy. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys smell it. Do a little whiff. You know? Do you guys can you guys smell that? It smells really really good. They need to invent that thing where you can you know kind of like scratch and sniff, but for like you know your phones or something where you scratch your screen and it smells really good. Yeah, they need to definitely invent that. Okay, so the chicken is basically all cooked now. Um, the way I find out to see if it's ready or not, I just grab a piece of chicken and I taste it. Um, yeah, because again, I'm not professional. I don't know exactly when it's ready, but I just have to taste it. Um, most of the water has been dissolved now. So, But yeah, guys, um, this is how I make my chicken. It's really simple. Um, whenever people ask me how I make it, I say water and Mrs. Dash seasoning, and it sounds kind of weird, but yeah, this is how I make my chicken. Um, I would show you guys my face right now, but I just got out of the shower, so, and I look nasty, so, I mean, not nasty, because I'm all showered and clean or whatever, but, but yeah, this is how I make my chicken. You guys finally know. It's not a huge secret. Ooh, ooh. All right, you guys, stay tuned. If you guys thought this video was helpful, please make sure to hit the like button on there. If you guys have any comments, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you, guys. See you guys on Instagram. Bye.